everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I forgot to say that yesterday. And Rusty caught it, and so did Blue Bike and Doyle. Jim didn't catch it even. But I, and I, the only reason I caught it is I was watching Rusty's spotlight of me. Thank you, Rusty. That was so nice. In fact, I was. It, you know what it brought to mind? I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I was thinking about my parents and all the things that people would say at their funeral. <laughs> That's so sad. But what I was thinking is, have you ever thought of wanting to be at your funeral to see what people might say? Well, Rusty, guess what? I want you at my funeral so that you can be one of the people that speaks for me because I was, you said so many nice things. I was, I was like, mind-boggling. I smiled at myself, smiling at you, <laughs> at the, hearing what you were saying. Well, I brought in Mr. Brown so you could see his wing product, pro, wing, um, wing something, his production of his wings? No. no. His wing progression. progression. That's the word I was looking for. Yes, I'm going to show you his, oh, he's itching. No, no, don't itch now. I'm going to show you his wings. This is this is what it looks like when they're here. Let me get this little camera to be just. You want to tap it just on, so it taps just him. You have to tap the screen, so we'll see. But that's what I'm supposed to look at. Is it going to do it? Ooh, he's not going to do it. Not that's okay. It. Um. Anyways, this is what the wings look like at a little over two weeks. So if you're wondering, and he's just now starting to get his little bit of back. Just a minute, little fella. Just starting to get up. Ooh, you're making a nice fan. His little back feathers up here. He, he thinks he was going to fall, so when he thinks that, he will um, flutter. But anyways, he and I sat at the computer today, and um, I answered all my comments, and he was tapping at the screen. <laughs> he was trying to help me. And trying to type around him on the iPad was really difficult today, too, because he was looking at the picture. And he watched the videos with me. He sat on my lap. I have a towel on my lap so that if in case he does his little poopies, which he does, and I can at least pick them up. They've been solid today, so that's a good sign. I like that they're solid. That's like babies. When they first start pooping, it's like a gushy squish. And then they start to get solid. But when they start to get solid, they start to stink. So I'm hoping his don't. Oh, he's sitting so nicely. Look, at it says, I'm going to perch now. You're such a good little boy. But all we see is his backside. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's his head, his face. I'm sorry. He's looking at me. Can I help? He likes looking at me. <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> yeah. Um, I went outside on the porch. I had to change his bedding and his his little house. So I put him down and let him follow me. I had walked the whole full length of the porch and the porch goes almost all the way around the house and he followed. You could hear his little feet coming behind his little squeaking. He was and I have to watch the ground a little bit to make sure I don't step on him. As long as he stays behind me he's okay. But if he gets in front of me because sometimes he runs fast to get in front of me it's like I'm coming I'm coming Yes, you were coming. And we brought out the pine. Are they pine? Yes. Yeah, cedar chips. Cedar. No, they're and not maybe cedar. They they're pine. pine chips. We don't use cedar. Cedar is bad for animals. Yeah. So we use the pine. I brought the pine, pine chips. flakes. Yeah, pine. They're the big ones. You don't want the little ones because the little ones the babies would eat. You want the larger um, pine shavings. And so we got the pine shavings, and I brought them in, and I put them in his little house. Then later on, I was going to check on him, and he's out walking around on the floor in the back room. And I'm thinking, oh, he can he now he can flutter out of his his brooder, the little the container I have him in. The sides are too short for him now because he can he can flap his little wings and get himself out. So I brought in my guinea pig cages. Those will be his home probably from now on probably. he could he could grow up in there so that at night he will go into a cage he's not going and when I go say when I leave the house he will have to go into the cage and this way he can have his water 
and his food and he can poop if he wishes because the pine shavings will be in there. And he'll have a lot of headroom because it's a big cage. That is what we did today. We just did chicken stuff. Lots of chicken stuff. And I took him to chicken school. He hides behind me. He's really not comfortable in there anymore. Ever since that one hen pulled his little, she pulled his hair, his feathers back here is where she pulled them. And um, she growls at us. Also, I'm going to put that in right now, but if you're kind of squeamish, don't look because it's, it's not good. I'll tell you what it was after I'm going to put it in first, right here. I was just going to clean out this nest when I says to Dorothy, I says, what happened to that other egg? And over here in the corner, we see the other egg. This one didn't make it. It hatched or something happened to it. I don't know what happened to it. But Emma moved herself out completely. And I put the other egg under Emma. She's in a different box. And Dorothy is right here. I will have to clean that out. Ugh. The joys of babies not hatching. This is sad. But Emma is over here. I moved Emma's egg. She's so hot. But she's in that spot. I hope that egg hatches. The egg she's sitting on should hatch on the 16th. Oh, Emma, I hope you have luck. Because you, you chose the nest with only two eggs, where Dorothy's got the three. As you heard in the video, I went out to see how the two mama hens that are sitting on eggs were doing. And um, when I got to the box where Emma's supposed to be, there was only one egg in there. And I, so I thought, well, I've got to change the straw as long as she's out of it. And I, was, and I asked Dorothy where the other egg was. And then I show you where the other egg was. And it's so sad because it's like three days away from hatching. So Emma was inside the main house, the little house, and I took the one egg that was still there. I put that underneath her, which you heard me say in the video. I'm telling you actually what I said again. I guess I'm repeating myself. Like they say, chewing the cabbage twice. I guess I'm chewing it twice. <laughs> but I did, I put it in there for um, Emma. And I hope it hatches. It, the egg felt heavy. It didn't feel light. So I'm hoping there's a baby chick in it. But Emma chose the nest that only had two eggs. And Dorothy's got the nest that's got three eggs. So I'm hoping that Emma stays on top of that one egg. Because it's only got like three more days to go before they hatch. Both, of, both hens, their eggs should hatch about them. But that poor little one that was almost hatchable didn't make it as you saw so that was sad well that is it for today I hope you all had a great day and Mr. Brown is having a great time he's loving his in the house life and he's not pooped yet good boy yeah you're getting longer and yes you're getting longer at not pooping talk baby talk to the babies <laughs> We always do that, and everybody does that to all the animals, I'm sure. Well, you take care, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> Say goodbye! Flap your wings. Not gonna. Bye! <laughs>